Okay, so here we have question number two from C12, June 2019 International A-Level paper. And this question here is about indices. And we have to here um, solve this particular equation. So part A tells us to find the value of A and B, okay, in this identity here, you could say. So what we have to do is we have to try to find what A and B are in this identity. 2 to the power of A X plus B. So we can see here we have things in index form and for us to be able to compare things in index form we should write them with the same base and as 8 is the same as 2 to the power of 3 I would start by writing this 8 as 2 to the power of 3 so that's 2 to the power of 3x over 2 to the power of x minus 1 is identical to 2 to the power of, that's an a x plus b okay so i'm going to combine these two together by subtraction so you got 2 to the power of 3x minus x minus 1 is identical to 2 to the power of a x plus b so if we simplify this now we get 2 to the power of now 3x minus x is 2x and minus one, you're going to have minus one times minus one. This is a minus one here, remember. That's going to give you plus one. So two x plus one, two to the power of two x plus one is equal to two to the power of a x plus b. So that means two x plus one must be identical to a x plus b. So we can just compare the coefficients here. You know that a must be two and that the b must be one. So we found the values of a and b just by comparing the coefficients. If these are exactly the same as each other, this is something x plus 1, so the a must be 2 and the b must be 1. Okay, so that's uh, the answer to part a. Then it says, hence solve this equation. So b, hence solve this equation. Now, we've just said 8x over 2x minus 1 is the same as saying uh, 2 to the power of 2x plus 1. Okay, this is the same as 2x, 2 to the power of 2x plus 1. And we're told that's equal to 2 times root 2. Okay, so 2 times root 2 can be written also as 2 to the power of something. Because, my pen's, uh, sorry, it's lagging here. So you have 2 to the power of 2x plus 1. Okay, 2 to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 2. This is 2 times 2 to the power of a half. Okay, so you have 2 to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of, now this is like uh, 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of a half, you add the powers, 1 plus a half is 3 over 2. So we can say that, therefore, if, if these both are the same, if 2 to the power of something equals 2 to the power of something, those two somethings must be the same. That means 2x plus 1 must be the same thing as 3 over 2. So to solve the equation, you've got to find x. So 2x is equal to 3 over 2 minus 1, which is 1 over 2. And so x is equal to a half divided by 2, which is a quarter. And there's an answer for that. And that's the answers for part A. Okay, I hope that was clear. It's just about making the indices the same, making the uh, bases the same in index form, and uh, then comparing the powers. Okay, in both cases, it's something to do with that. Okay, I hope that was clear and easy.